Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today, I'm going to be talking about final washes, clarifying and gelating shampoos, the difference between each. We're going to be addressing certain myths regarding clarifying and final washes. So if that sounds like something that interests you, let's get into it. First off, I want to encourage you to read and inform yourself. I've left some links in the description. Please check them out. All of it is valuable information that you need to know if you have curly hair. Okay, so what is the last wash? The last wash is something that is done before you start the curly girl method. It is when you use a shampoo which contains sulfate for one last time before you start CGM to remove the silicones that have been coating your hair for a period of decades probably. The thought behind it is that a sulfate is the only thing that can remove the silicones that have built up on your hair over years of shampooing and conditioning using traditional shampoos and conditioners. The subject is controversial because Lorraine Massey, who is the originator of the Curly Girl Method, did not suggest final washing before starting CGM. Final washing is a subject that came about from the Curly Girl community itself and some articles suggest that final washing is imperative before one starts their Curly Girl journey. However, some papers suggest that we have been coating our hair with silicones for decades now, right? And it cannot be removed from your hair just with one wash. Because if that were the case, then transitions wouldn't be a thing, right? We all know that when we start CGM, we go through a transition process. So if this were true, then transitioning wouldn't be a thing, right? You should have beautiful bouncy curls from day one of starting the curly girl method. So what do you guys think? I do see the merit on both sides of the argument, but I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, if I've left you thoroughly confused and you feel like you've missed the bus since you've already started CGM without the final wash, don't worry because the concept of the final wash is very similar to clarifying. Clarifying is the process of removing buildup from your hair. Now on CGM, we coat our hair with different styling products. Additionally, buildup can be caused by natural oils from your scalp, minerals from hard water, and from low quality and non-water soluble ingredients such as butters in our products. We have heard that apple cider vinegar and baking soda are clarifying agents and can be used to clarify hair, right? No, wrong. On closer inspection, uh, that seems to be false. Apple cider vinegar and baking soda are chelating agents. And after a lot of research, I found that the only acceptable way for you to clarify your hair is by using olefin sulfonate, which is a mild sulfate. But remember, clarifying shampoo cannot have a silicone. So what you're looking for is a shampoo that has a mild sulfate but does not contain silicones. And clarifying should be done once every four to six weeks. Now you guys know that this is a cruelty free channel, right? So uh, I did a lot of research. Now, do we have a shampoo in the Indian market that is clarifying and also cruelty free? I don't think so. I've been looking this up for six months now and I haven't found a single clarifying shampoo with olefin sulfonate that doesn't contain silicone and is also not cruelty free. But I guess this can be changed. Wow Skin Science, Arata, Mama Earth, Curl Up, all the other brands that are CGM friendly, where are you guys at? We need a clarifying shampoo, okay? Please bring it to us. I would also urge you guys to contact brands that are girly girl friendly and urge them to give us a clarifying shampoo. There is a market in India, so please give us a clarifying shampoo. 
All right, guys. So I did a bit of digging and I put the ingredients of the Curl Up shampoo and the Wow Charcoal and Keratin shampoo into curlspot.com. So my recommendation would be to use large amounts of these shampoos and apply it from root to tip instead of just your scalp while washing and use this as a clarifying shampoo. So now lastly, let's talk about chelating shampoos. Now the difference between a clarifying shampoo and a chelating shampoo is that a clarifying shampoo has sulfate and it gets rid of silicone, right? Now a chelating shampoo is one that gets rid of hard water minerals, pool water chemicals and certain ingredients that build up from regular product use during CGM. Chelating shampoos have ingredients that attach themselves to impurities, toxins and minerals that get rinsed away while we wash our hair. And like I told you guys, apple cider vinegar and baking soda are acceptable chelating ingredients. In fact, Wow Skin Science has an apple cider vinegar shampoo and I think so do other brands but I haven't checked them out yet. But if you don't want to buy a shampoo just for the chelating agents in the shampoo, all you have to do is take apple cider vinegar, mix some water with it and you can use that as a chelating rinse. Now a shampoo with a chelating agent should also be used every four to six weeks. And yeah, you should be good. So yeah, that was it. Hopefully you now know the difference between clarifying, final washes and chelating. Remember that the concept of the final wash and clarifying are pretty much similar. You can do it with exactly the same thing. So it doesn't matter if you haven't final washed, you can just do it now, right? And you'll be all good. So yeah, that was it. That was the video. I hope this was useful to you. So yeah, if you gained some value, give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My name is Michelle and I'll see you in the next one.